So for young professionals and students in the cybersecurity and IT space who want to make this kind of password security, post-password security, user security and related topics their primary area of work, can you speak to some uh, trends or topics or experiences or areas of study they should be focusing on now to ensure that they're keeping up with the newest developments in this quickly developing security space and and, and can take these jobs in the future? Oh yes, of course. So uh, before before jumping or deciding if you want to go to the cybersecurity, I believe uh, everybody should learn the basics, the basics uh, on the computer science, on the uh, how computers work. Because whether you are a software engineer or security engineer, you need to understand how the computer hardware works, how network works, all all the basics, right? And uh, the you and can, certainly you how can, hashing works. <laughs> oh yes, that, that's yeah, that's right, right, right. And uh, but you can you can even start uh, and uh, probably the good idea is to start while you are studying. It's uh, in a service as a service desk technician uh, or or ITSD. Uh, that's entry level job uh, that has a uh, that gives you the possibility to study, uh, to work, and also to learn uh, the basics of uh, mm -hmm. computers and how to deal with them. Uh, then, uh, then of course, uh, if you are chasing the career in cybersecurity in particular, there are uh, certification paths. Right, so if you if you want to seek the certification, that's fine. But even if you don't want to get and pay the money for getting that certification, the path of the learning uh, to earn that certification is perfect. So the first one would be uh, you can you can look into CompTIA, yeah. and uh, there are certifications such as Security Plus. So oh, yeah. it will it will arm you the basics of uh, of a security such as vulnerability management patching uh basic pen testing owasp uh, web uh, and uh, basics of uh, cybersecurity right so mm -hmm. then you can move on to junior penetration testing if you are red teaming and that's kind of red and blue team red are attackers blue are defenders yep. so that's it's on a different different path so you can go to the junior penetration tester and again uh, there is a comtia certification to prepare to you for that uh then if you are into the individual contributor so called that you are technical guy you don't want to manage people you can continue your path uh, such as a security engineer or security architect, uh, and that's uh, that's where you learn how to uh, design secure systems such as uh, subnets uh, uh, and all those VPC, VCPs and uh, all those parts. Mm -hmm. uh, again, uh, you will constantly need to learn uh, despite the fact you choose. If you choose the uh, manager career path and you want to become like a CISO or CTO or CIO, uh, your career path is in managing, in leading people, leading technology, yep. then there are, again, uh, different certifications, but uh, different such as uh, CSM certified security manager yep. and OCSP, offensive uh, security, uh, yeah. offensive certified security professional, those those certificates they cost money uh, they take time to learn but they give the kind of the uh, business and the uh, potential employers a proof that you are certified that you know your stuff that you know what you are talking about and you have mm -hmm. hands on experience right yeah. so it's a it's a different different paths and a constant learning, but uh, I would have before before you move to that you can try different things. Uh, we have now internet, right? So you can learn everything online, and uh, it's a it's a golden age for learning. Yeah. But before you move before you move to that, uh, my two two big advices are, uh, and that, that's that's kind of not me. It's a quote, but. Uh, if job becomes hobby, which get which you are getting paid for, you will become excellent at that. So choose the thing not based on the salary or based on the open positions or the opportunities. Try out things. Choose the thing you love. Choose the thing which makes you feel great. Whether it's a uh, ethical hacking or it's a uh, uh, cybersecurity defense. Uh, Choose the thing which makes you happy, which mm -hmm. you love doing, and and do that. Because uh, at the end of the day, we are in tech because it makes us happy. Because it's it's again it's fun, it's interesting, and it makes us tick, right? 
once once you find that niche where you want to progress, right, commit. Uh, because uh, as uh, Denzel Washington quote, uh, goals before goals without commitment are just dreams. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. So yeah. before uh, once you once you'll choose that, once you'll choose the place you love doing and uh, you feel th- which makes you happy and uh which uh, you wake up at the, in the middle of the night and you can start doing that, learning those uh, those interesting things, commit to them. Not just want, because there is a main difference between wanting and committing. If you want, eventually will you will drop out. You need to commit and you need to have consistency. So allocate particular time of the day Mm -hmm. to learn things and do it constantly. In that case, you will achieve your goals. You will get a career in cybersecurity. You will constantly move forward. I do the same, even though, even though, uh, even though I kind of have the little bit of knowledge in this field, I learn every day. I read books, I read articles, I learn, I pursue certificates so commit and uh you will you will see that consistency make will make you great have you seen work bites the new security awareness training series from infosec our team produced this series with three e's in mind making security awareness training entertaining engaging and educational just go to infosecinstitute.com slash free to learn more about this hilarious office comedy and hey let us know what you think about it